relatively large beer. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button in the face, and let's get into it, shall we? For the beer of the today, we have got the 2020 version of Kentucky Bastard Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout by the Nickelbrook Brewing Company out of Burlington, Ontario, coming at 11.9% ABV. Pretty sure it's nine. Could have been eight. No, it's just nine. Yeah, I got it. Um, I've had every year of this for the last, I want to say, four, maybe five years now, and it is a great, delicious, fantastic beer. And this is my first time trying this year's batch. So, let's see how effectively we can get into this. I was taught this by actually a person from Nickelbrook that was working at a festival. All you need to do with the wax cap, that's all you need to do right there. Take a little knife kind of thing, something sharp, and just make a little notch. That's all you have to do. See, like the, the proper way you're supposed to like pour it under, like put it under warm water and heat up the wax. Like, watch this. You get in there, and then just like, here we go. Beer's opened. La bam. Let's see what we've got, shall we? This is cold, as I tend to, <clears throat> I start all my beers cold, and then, you know, like as they warm up, you get the whole different experience. That looks very, 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 very dark. Not even to bother with the light, there's zero point. There's zero point putting the light up to that. The head is not actually as dark as I would have assumed it would be, but I don't know, it looks nice. That smells big and bad and boozy. Well, bad in a good way. It smells big and good and boozy? You know what I mean. Chocolate, maybe a little kind of coffee notes from the malts they use. Like the, the uh, Cafe del Bastardo is the coffee version of this that I've also had a few times. And it's obviously usually more coffee forward than this, even though they usually don't put that much coffee into it. This has a bit of a coffee aroma to it mocha kind of thing and then a whole lot of the barrels coming over there too let's give her a shot shall we oh that might be the best one yet first time i <clears throat> sorry the first time i ever had it um, I was not ready for a big beer like this, and I'm pretty sure I hated it, couldn't stand it. Second time I had it, very much enjoyed it, and then keeps going, but I don't know if it's just like my love for these big stouts is growing, or this, I don't know, this is chocolate. The chocolate flavor just lingering in my mouth is astonishing. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. getting no warming no anything the ABV in this beer is so well masked I am astonished right now oh we got rich chocolate coffee and dark fruit flavors from our imperial stout are married together with the vanilla oak and warming alcohol from Kentucky Bourbon Barrels. Together as one, the result is a, an incredible blend of aroma and taste. Drink it today or cellar it to enjoy later as it matures. Pale Ale Chocolate, Dark Chocolate, Roasted Barley, Carafa Special 3, Chocolate Wheat, Flaked Wheat, Flaked Barley, Flaked Oats, that's the malts. Hops are German Magnum Nugget and Centennial, and the yeast is California Ale. 70 IBU. And it even has like just the water, malted barley, malted wheat, oats, hops, yeast, and Demera sugar. So, but there's no faults. This is without any question of a doubt. That's a 10. 
fucking ten. Um, Nickelbrook.com. We'll bring it to Nickelbrook.com. Check them out if you're in the Burlington area. Um, not bad, not bad. The best one in my opinion. Never had the. Uh, I don't think I had the cucumber lime one. I might have. I can't recall. But I don't know. Regardless, this is available in the LCBO. I think it was about eleven dollars ninety five cents. Um, and yeah, get yourself some. With that in mind, if you do get yourself some, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Because I'm done here. Like I said in the beginning, like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Always appreciated. And I will be back with something like this pretty freaking soon. Peace out. I'm mildly sad. I bought this bottle in Sudbury because I was in Sudbury and I have yet to see it anywhere here in North Bay. I should have bought more than one bottle. <laughs>